Hello everybody and welcome to this sweet and sexy montage I put together of the 7 Chaos Emeralds. I did it guys. I can't believe I did it. Anyway, we finished up Team Chaotix in the last episode. We did all the final fights and stuff, so now I'm going to get all of these thingies. I did every single one as Team Rose. Spoiler alert, in case you really cared enough to call that a spoiler. But anyway, get it, get it, yeah! Number one down. Out of seven. Post-commentating for the win. So yeah, so that's good. So yeah, basically, all the seven cast emeralds is in this game, if you don't know, if you're watching this as a guide somehow, because you randomly stumbled across it, the seven cast emeralds you get by going to these special stages. Now, I didn't show myself unlocking any of the keys, but what I did show is, well, first of all, this sexy transition from one to the next, but all I did show was this. So basically, to get them, you have to go into the stage and get a key. Every time you get hit, you lose the key. If you die, it goes back into the cage. You have to finish the level with the key. And then it takes you here. It's only the second level. And we got the second one. Booyah. So you have to go to the second level of every set. So like for the Haunted Castle ones, Hang Castle doesn't, but Mystic Mansion does. They both have keys, but Hang Castle doesn't have the right key. So that's what that is about. Yeah, so with that said, let's let's watch me kick some ass. Oh, look at that sexy transition. Mwah, that square building up from the right corner. Beautiful, beautiful work. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so as you can see, the levels get progressively harder. But I, I do believe, and I could be wrong about this, but I believe the level design is the same for every single character. As far as what you're seeing on the screen here would be the same no matter what team I am. So this isn't like the difficulty wise between Team Rose. So don't think, oh, if you play as Team Rose, you're gonna get the easiest stages, because that's not the case. I chose to do it as Team Rose because you have to beat the entire level to get to the special stage, like their actual main level. And Team Rose's levels take around three minutes to complete, whereas the other characters take around eight minutes. So I figured, why would I bother wasting my time going through eight minutes of level if I'm most likely gonna fail? So I stuck to this Team Rose and did it the simple way. And so we got another one down. This is what, number three? Booyah. Making good time here. Okay, oh, look at that transition. Oh, that was a good one. Great work. Great, great editing, film man. Oh, look at that one. That's a white one. That's the best one, then. Just kidding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that guy. I'm not even white, so I can't say that. Well, I guess, I don't know. Let's not, let's not dive into this. Oh, crap. Okay, so this one I do believe I had a little bit of failure on. I think it did take me quite a while to actually catch up to this one. Because I'm pretty sure I crashed into the bombs again. Oh, and then this happens too, and I'm like, shit. Damn it, I failed. I'm failing again, man. And I'm just doing horrible here, and I'm just like, there's no way I'm going to catch it. There's like, there's no possible way. Like, how am I going to do it? You know, it's like, th there's no way. There's no way I'm going to make it. I actually, I think it takes us kind of, or takes me kind of a while to get there. Because then I fall off again, and I'm just like, alright, crap, this it's over for me. But then that thing pushed me up to level 2, and I'm like, okay. And then it takes me to level 3, and I'm like, alright, maybe I do have this. Those red clown-looking balls with the stars on it, they raise your bar up a lot. So those are definitely the best ones to get your hands on. And right here, I'm like, nope, I got this. Booyah! And so we got that one, too. So that one took us quite a while to get. Thankfully, the end of that level was very, very forgiving, in case you struggled in the beginning one. A lot of the levels are like that, even the later ones, too. They're very forgiving. So my advice for it... It's to stick it out. Don't, even when you struggle at the beginning, always finish. Because you, it's very easy to catch up. Unless you're like way behind. Oh, a sexy transition again. I'm so good at these transitions, guys. Okay, so this is where the stages get kind of hard. And this is where most people tend to switch over to Team Sonic or something. Now, personally, I don't see a speed difference between them. And honestly, it's hard to control them when they go fast. And see, I crashed twice. But what you'll see is, obviously, this is a successful one, because I cut out all my failures. Which I only failed twice, actually. I failed on the Bullet Station one, which I believe was the last one you saw. And then I failed on the Final Fortress one, which is not this one. So, I did pretty well, actually. So there wasn't a whole lot of fail to put in anyway. I and mean, if I did, I didn't commentate over it, so it wouldn't be fun to watch. But yeah, so as you can see, I did make a lot of mistakes at the beginning, but I do rebound, obviously. Because I just told you, all these are successes. So this one was kind of not that difficult to get to. I believe, what is this one? The Frog Forest one, I think? Because it's Frog Forest, then the Haunted Mansion one, and then... See, and then I crash again. So there's a lot of room for error. Because then there's Haunted Mansion, and then there's the Final Fortress one. Mystic Mansion, I should call it. I should stop calling it Haunted Mansion. I mean, the Let's Play is basically over after this, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Okay, try not to crash. Good job. I'm like, I'm, I'm lecturing my... Crap. Why am I talking like I'm actually playing right now? It's kind of weird. 
Yeah, now I'm on the roof. So yeah, the roof is a bad place to go to, kind of. A lot of the advice things I've seen usually say to try to avoid the roof. As you can see here, though, I, got, I got actually got pretty far behind on this one. And even toward the end, too, though. But again, the game is very forgiving at this point. As you can see, it gives you a ton of these ones. Which just makes your life a t lot easier when you have those ones. And at this point, I kind of knew, yeah, I got this in the bag. There's no way I'm not going to get to it. And I did. What did I tell you guys? I told you I would do it. I never lie. Except on Friday. So hopefully this doesn't go up on a Friday. Or else I am a liar today. But I do fail a lot. Luckily, this is a video that makes me look pretty damn good, I think. Because I got the seven Chaos Emeralds. All right. Okay, so only two left to get. And then we're done with this episode, guys. Only two more. Act six. That was a sexy transition, too. Not as sexy as the other ones, but sexy enough. Ooh, and I like that. I really... This level is just absolutely beautiful to me. I loved going through this. It was just the most epic thing ever. And I believe the last one actually looks like this, too. So I was just astounded at the amazing graphics. And this one actually took me really fast to get to. I'm surprised I got through this one so fast. But yeah, I just love the night sky in the background and everything. This level was absolutely beautiful. This was the Mystic Mansion one, by the way. In case you're wondering. I, I think this is the fastest one. Except maybe the second one. Because we got four one-ups in that one. I don't know what that means, but... Okay, so this is the last one. As you can see, there's two minutes left in the video, which means it took me kind of a while to finish the stage. So it makes for a good finale. And this stage was absolutely beautiful, too. It almost... And I can't say this for real, because I don't know if I mean it, but this kind of reminds me of Night's Journey of Dreams. Just kind of the whimsical fantasy feel that this gives off. I love Night's. That game was absolutely amazing. It's probably... I wouldn't call it one of my favorite games. It's up there, though, for me. I would definitely call it a top 20 game on my list. And I played a lot of games, so top 20 for me is not bad. So, but I really do enjoy that game. Okay, let's... Don't hit those things. I do think I did... I didn't do that bad. I think after a certain point, I started to hit the bombs. But we'll see, I guess, won't we? So, yeah, getting those red balls with the stars on it are de is definitely the best path to take. Try to get as... Okay, see, yeah, I hit the bombs there. So the red ones are the best ones to get, obviously, like I've said a thousand times now. These ones, they fill up your meter, but very slowly. They give you just enough to kind of get a boost, but it's really not that much. I mean, all, you need it. You can't do this up without the boost. It's not, it's absolutely not possible without the boost. I'm pretty sure, because I think you go slower than the Emerald, just normal speed. And see, I kind of crashed a lot in this part. And then right there, I got a really good boost there, didn't I? I think that boost actually is kind of what saved me here. Because I started going really fast. Holy crap. And then I fall here and I'm like, oh no. But then I landed in this thing. And I'm like, yeah, you're not getting away from me, Emeralds. I'm not even going to bother getting those ones up there. You can't try to go to the ceiling. I just figured it wasn't worth it. I had a lot of bar left over. It, I, it was gonna, I was going to make it regardless. So that's it for this episode, guys. We got the seven Chaos Emeralds. All in one episode. Wow. That was a beautiful, beautiful episode, wasn't it? So yeah. So in the next episode, we're going to start the last story. This is it, guys. The finale is here. I'll see you guys then.